NFL Cash App Playoffs on ESPN. And welcome back to Boston, where our second quarter final. O'Neal, of course, was first overall in the draft. Their top two goal scorers, O'Neal and Bundy. Hard back in the lineup. He was injured a few weeks ago. Good to see him return. He's flanked by Mike. Veteran presence of this group, two-way. And then Hanley, he's been kind of feast or fam. Gets the one seed, the New York Atlas, Saturday on Long Island. We've already seen the chaos throttle the Cannons 8-4 to four to start the day. And by the way, we're expecting to have Andy Towers join. Layoff by the Whip Snakes, And I think that is going to take them a little bit of time to reacclimate. And the key for them is, can Nardella win? Yeah, they've gone weeks without playing a game. Here's Chaninchuk for two. Mike Chaninchuk, who's just outside the top five all time in two point professional goals with 32 for his. Week 10 out in Denver. That's just a long time. You, you can't really replicate live, live game action. Especially when you've won four in a row, right? You want to as well. The foundation of this Whip Snakes house still very strong. Chanichuk takes the lefty shot, saved by Owen McElroy. Third year pro. Goes out and trades for Conrad. And gave up a second round pick in next year's draft. Here's Bundy for two. And Brendan Krebs saw it all the way. So that's the other part that's a little different. Kyle DeWay. Manley's back in the play. Anderson feeds Williams, who rolls past Manley, shoots. McElroy slams the door. Two saves already for Owen McElroy. That was a filthy. Think about the youth of the Outlaws. They really tore it down to the studs after they went 1 and 9 last year as the Chrome, and they're off to a good start here in the those rookies. It's Dalton Young. His first playoff goal is the first goal of the game. Of the bunch. And everybody obviously talks about O'Neal and Bundy, and then it's Zawada gets a ton of t last season. And, and sometimes that, that can make you dangerous just because you don't know any better. Like you don't overthink things. No pressure on this franchise. Kind of playing with house money this year. Whips on the run. It's Apatello straight down the alley. Apatello, a pole goal to start for Maryland. He has really not afraid to run in transition. You're not going to respect my game. I'm going to bury it. Playing against a bunch of his fellow Terps today. Here's Matt Rambo. Maryland class of 17, surrounded by white jerseys. Lost the ball. That's a, they allowed over 12 scores per game, which was second to last ahead of only California. But again, they have found an effective Mix down oh. the stretch. There's O'Neal. Oh. Power and skill. I mean, you want to talk about dodging with physical hair off of his line. You can see Don give a little bit of ground there and just with a shred of an angle. But I love the aggressiveness there with O'Neal. Dodge. About as good as it gets in terms of one on one. Williams on the crease. And McElroy comes up with it. He was double ticks in a trade. Late in the season, by, Anderson, by Anderson shot is saved Emerges by McElroy. Emerges Carolina against Boston. Back up by saved by Reardon. And Drenner, he's a threat. 34 and blue. Strong first quarter for McElroy. Four saves, just one goal allowed. Here's Drenner. He's a threat. 34 and blue. Strong first quarter for McElroy. Four saves, just one goal allowed. No chance against Bolting. that one, though. Out of defense. Kavanaugh takes the shot from the arc. Steal of the draft has his first playoff goal. Carolina touches, and it down. He gets caught up in the wash on that pick by Hecock. Contest. And Anita there's just no support or slide. The Conscious effort RB by Jim Stagney and the, the recipe staff that early in this game. They wanted to touch the ball on every possession. That's and you see the comfort level that he has now back. here in the playoffs. Not Little to mention he's a Penn State guy playing with a lot of Terps. He's fit in. So is Dalton Young for the Outlaws. That's two ago. goals for him here in the playoff. first quarter. To clear. Tough it's the rookie show, save. just like we expect. Good things, things happen at the when you can he see the full time. six by six. Well, that'll work. Time clutch. Yeah. They take the Pat Kavanaugh. A sharp angle from. Got a flag on the field. It'll be against Denver. Puglisi turns down the shot, gets it to Conrad, and the bouncer skips wide. Under a minute to play in Real the first time quarter. As half. And if you're successful, Blue's still all over. Malone serves. Cannons. Shannon Chuck, look out! Count it! 
My chance is trade one of the best players shot. in the world. This is exactly the type of game Chaos wants. Harris, he sees him goes down right there. Then there's Chan and Chuck. So he's Giles Harris is splitting. Played under Almost makes it good Seymour's that they didn't win their ranks, conference because then they would have had like, more hey, than a month off. With Boston, with Boston. Rambo turns and shoots with a right hand. This on the Western Conference. That's doesn't Franchise come so far on the PLL. But McKay. Apple Apple slides yeah. upfield. The team he joined was not like this loaded juggernaut like at the beginning of the season. I was he referencing that. That has had nothing else this low. And watch it take this one extra this step upfield. So instead of just Alex. catching that and off, he lets year. Apple over. He's been amazing. Here's Sam Hanley, this second year player out of oh, And that oh, is just oh, shot from the top of the key for two. Bar down. Whoa. It, it just they, they doesn't the really matter. He, he lowers down. his shoulder, shrugs off Squires, and out of pen. Really you thought by he'd be the number one that. overall pick is because he's Boston a too, so don't forget in front to kill off the three. Certainly goal Denver. of the day, right? I mean, not that it's been the biggest bar to clear. <laughs> Actually, going. And trickle in, they kept it out. There's Chan and Chuck. Right. That kind of back gas and forth pedal. we go. That's two for the vet. Besson, so no shot clock reset. The Chan and Chuck. Second goal of the game. That'll draw a flag. You, you know what you're going to get on the power oh, play from him. Fairman Time switches and room, feet set. Here's O'Neal operating, from going. The top of the key. That's just saved by Kirst, and he's nice. And I, I can hear it. Beautifully finds no This is where the clock is your Sawada. That's a game. Transferred over from Michigan for his final college Goals season. And Played on the same attack line in the spring. Here, step to the middle. You can Real see him put a the head down. Shot kicked away by Kreb. Eventual champion, Water Dogs. Just can't inch the shot. Snakes trying and to get back and to where split they feel. By Two along the top of the league where they won the championship in the first two years it existed. Oh, Bouncer from Conrad and O'Neill against Jack Chorus. Spin it through X. Sawada, Young, two goals already, goes to his left hand. And 20 seconds left to shoot. Goal line extended. Rambo. Here's Zed Williams. Jump shot off the pipe. That was Williams against Jesse Burns. O'Neal surveys for Max. It's the screen. Sprints around it. Cross Ferrara. The recipient of the pass. And the exclamation is stick. Denver needed some production out of the midfield. They take him behind the cage. He takes that extra step up field. Loses his. Great note. Did Joe Keegan give you that one? Indeed. Zawada from a sharp angle, shot clock violation. He won for 31 against Philly when the Water Dogs weren't even trying to win a faceoff. There's Conrad on the run. Oof, that had some heat on it. Uh, speaking of Philly, Conrad in next year's draft. Conrad helping to fill the void left by Tucker Dordovic out with a jaw injury. And Tucker, if you're watching, we hope you're feeling all right. On the mend. Here's Heacock. Count it. Colin Heacock, Jim, and he has stepped up playing defense, and he, he's really kind of keyed a lot of their transition going from deep. This and of what Hawes brought to this franchise. Patra, what a move! A flag comes in late, might be a push into the crease. They're gonna... The push. The shooter's stick and the goalie's stick made contact inside the inside the cylinder prior to the ball entering the goal no goal six on five now maryland to the power play to patra's goal wiped off outlaws back in front by one but only mashes in on the crease and it's a gorgeous little slip pick That was Art, RB. Oh. On the skip, instead skips it himself. O'Neal for two. That was deflected before it got to Krebs. And the Whip Snakes now one for one on the playoff penalty kill. 11 for 11 on the season. Giles Harris just completely blew up that play. <laughs> He's so good. He completely blew up that play.
Williams on the shovel. They still have a chance here. Malone couldn't skip it through. So, so two things of, of that defensive game plan I want to hone in on. Number one was putting Bowen on, on Nolting, right? Yep. And then the second one was as Lanian at attack, you guys love to double pull yeah. as Conrad buries one. You did it, which isn't normally kind of the chaos DNA. You love bumping yeah. guys up. Yeah. Talk us through those two you decisions. Know, making those two guys two of the most dangerous players playing together in the league. Our feeling was we looked the third big decision, and that was bumping Ray down from LSM to close, who's maybe the most overlooked player. So natural that I would overlook that decision. <laughs> And we can live with that. What we can't live with is Asher making people goal scores as a passer. That kills you. And, uh, and and that was part of the equation. The other part of the equation was, you know, you win 15-13, and sometimes you win 8-4. And it doesn't matter to us how we win as long as we win. And uh, I'm extremely proud of our, of our guys. We got a tie game again as Trick. Another rookie for Denver making his presence felt. And it's 7-7, seven to seven, 18. We have you up here in the booth. Look at the best players in the history of the position, whether it's Ryan Boyle, whether it's uh, Jordan Wolf. end of the whistle, right? That's always going to be the case. These guys, from a technique standpoint, if they're at the front end of the whistle, they're going to win it every single time. Heads up. I frankly <laughs> voted for Joe Nardella for the face. Still puts Denver back in front, uh, 18. Thanks for coming up and joining us, man. It's been a pleasure to see you guys. Thanks for everything that you uh, Look at this. But in one word, whose father is that? <laughs> <laughs> Andy Towers, good luck Saturday. Takes advantage. And that was almost a, an EFIS pitch to Krebs. I think it must have been deflected. Yeah, it was like a knuckle puck. It definitely got deflected. So shooting sub 20% against him this year. There's Heacock on the run against Hawes. Good stop by McElroy. 13. Zawada from X. Now Hanley. Keep your eye on seven and white and orange. Graham Bundy. One of the best long range shooters in the league. There he is. a high top shelf missile. Team, if you ask me. And then the second slide is late getting out to Bundy. And if there's one guy. Here's Conrad, Puglisi, they swing it. Ends up in the crease and ends up in the goal. Oh my goodness, Giles Harris can't believe it. McElroy has been airtight all the It's a missed pass and a deflection off of Giles Harris. Williams will take. For Zed. Rambo's only taken one shot. Here comes Hanley, beats his man clean, takes the left-handed shot down the alley. And backed up by O'Neal. Here comes O'Neal, charging down goal line extended. Matched up with Matt Dunn. O'Neal still has it, goes to the question mark. And Ferrara close down right when he caught it. This is Conrad. Lefty shot, that'll be backed up by the Outlaws as Bernhardt wins the race. From a one and nine season a year ago, getting into the playoffs is an achievement in and of itself, but this is a team that thinks they can compete for a crown. Remember just a few weeks ago, they got still plenty of juice left in the shot clock. They'll substitute, get offensive personnel in the field. Two pointer, Chan and Chuck. Put it on the carpet, five to shoot. Ferrara with a wild look. And the Whip Snakes will take over. That is Maryland Whip Snakes lacrosse. They did a ball game. We've stayed there. And it's it's cruel for Owen McElroy. 16 saves, eight goals allowed. 16 saves, by the way, one off his career high. And for that to be what he lets in, that's tough. Here's Patra gives the Whips the lead. Well, that's the second time tonight he has just put his head down and sprinted to the goal. That's our first goal. Prepared. You can see Grill after the play, like. Was I supposed to go? Are you going? Play, Terrafinko wants to get Chan and Chuck in the two-man game. They got the switch they wanted. Big collision. Terrafinko and Dunn. O'Neal takes the shot. And Krebs snuff. Burnlor, who's been one of the best goalies in the league since it started. Feed in front. 
Whips by two to rookie. Patra to Malone. Five points for TJ. One second. He actually doesn't even slide. He flashes as though he's going to slide. and Single digits to shoot. Taking their time. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. Yeah, not, even, not even gonna look yeah, at the goal. I'm a little Out of their timeouts, as you mentioned, RB, they lost the challenge. Team Sudan would love to have one here. Can they get the one? They do. It's Bernhardt. Cuts it to 11 to 10. And now Tim Sudan's team needs to win a faceoff. Bernhardt just sneaks inside. Hanley. A ton of trust and like, okay, well, let's just take the one. Lost ball. A one ties it. A two takes the lead. Bernhardt loads it. Bouncer, not close. Whips win the backup. A thriller in the quarterfinals. The upstart outlaws come up just short against. For the remarkable turnaround that they had year to year. I mean, to go from one and nine to them making the playoffs and just coming up. So credit them on an, a fantastic season. And meanwhile, we got a Whip Snakes Atlas semifinal.